she had the accident, a lot of headlines wanted to find an association between drugs or alcohol. The coroner found that had nothing to do with the accident. Do you feel like Anne is vindicated? Yeah, you know, that's a tough question. I'm not gonna lie, I feel angry about it because I knew it was 10.30 in the morning. She was not under the influence of alcohol and drugs played no impact. I don't know that we will ever know uh, what happened. It was a tragic accident. She was misjudged, not only in this accident, but, you know, back in the 90s. Like, her whole existence, um, she was misjudged. Why do you feel like Anne was so misunderstood? Because she stood up for gender-free love in the 90s. It hadn't been done and took a big hit for it. She didn't do a studio picture for, for 10 years. She was blacklisted. She was ridiculed. And I always thought it was very unfair that nobody ever circled back to make it right. E.T. was exclusively with Heather last night as she was joined by Anne's 13-year-old son, Atlas, and his father, James Tupper. They sat front row at a book reading for the late actress's candid, posthumous memoir, Call Me Anne. This would have meant the world to Anne. Anne was a devoted mom. How are the boys doing now? They're great. Um, Homer's 20. He's going to be 21 soon. He's um, more independent. Atlas, he's an incredible kid. They're both incredible kids. It's been really hard for them, but uh, they're, they're, they're doing okay. Heather told us she's also working on a documentary to celebrate Anne's life and legacy. Did you guys ever talk about what she wanted her legacy to be? All the time. It's moving the needle for LGBTQ+. It's, it's living a life of honesty. She was all about spreading love and kindness and, and truth and it's a shame she's not here today but her her message goes on